the funding that we've been fortunate to receive has led to a, you know, like an explosion in academic effort in a number of uh, a number of different arenas. It's also extended to things like novel applications of drones, and once we understand better how to use drones in specific areas, we can apply them to other more interesting academic fields where they have yet to be used. The immediate application here is that we can use the drones to help identify victims of a mass casualty incident and lead to more rapid delivery of medical care. If there's a fire or um, you know a big disaster, you lose a lot of kind of your typical modes of communication and these devices may be a way for us to reestablish communications easier and improve the care that we render to patients. The next thing we want to do is create a training program so that there's a simple and standardized method in which you can really train first responders to not only use the technology but deal with any debugging issues or kind of technology problems that arise in the field where you don't have instant IT backup and setup. The most important thing that we're doing is providing um, those who are either not on the scene or on the scene but not in a direct care providing role with some real first-hand perspective view as well as overwatch uh, situational awareness. We're kind of in the proof of concept stage with this. Uh, the biggest thing that we're doing at the moment is trying to prove that uh, the drones and the software that flies them is something that you can pick up kind of right in the nick of time. So if we handed this to uh, a paramedic or EMT who showed up at a mass casualty incident, that they could kind of pick this up and within a minute or two be able to fly it reasonably well to the point where they could get the information at a mass casualty incident that we need to get.